Well, hello there, everyone. Flag in. I have an announcement. I've been in the process of working on an actual game. You might remember a while ago that I had announced um, I made a game called War of Belrook, currently on Steam. That was a text-based kind of choose-your-own-adventure sort of thing. And uh, that was cool. But I wanted to make an actual game, one where you interacted more. And so I made one. I made one called Slime Evolution. And it is sort of like the uh, action roguelike um, series of games that are like Vampire Survivor, where you have uh, the main character that the camera follows, and then a bunch of uh, different monsters and stuff attempt to uh, come to destroy you and whatnot. And then you, you know, level up, get better skills and abilities and all that good jazz. Attempt to survive for as long as you can. This one centers around you being a slime and using the monster drops and resource drops that are on the map in order to evolve further, become deadlier, and fight ever stronger enemies. It will release on December 9th, everything goes as planned, and a link to the Steam page is down in the description. It should be about $5.99, depending upon your country, the currency that it translates to for Steams, yada yada. Uh, plan is $5.99 for it. And uh, you can check it out. Like I said, the link will be down there. Um, if you haven't heard or missed the previous announcement of War of Belrook and you want to check that one out, um, it is a lot more simple. It's literally, like I said, just text-based. You just read the text. Everything's fully voiced by me, by the way in War of Belrook. I'll also have a link to the description, a uh, link in the description to that, if you would like to check that out as well. Yeah, you can choose different kind of classes in that game, and then each one has its own unique kind of story that you go down, depending upon what you choose. And then you can kind of choose the different actions to take. And some of the stories are linear, a little more of them are kind of more open. It kind of depends upon what you choose. Obviously, a soldier is going to be more linear because you have to follow the command of you know, someone else who just moves the battle around as it goes. Uh, but you can make some minor choices about what to do there. Obviously, if you're like a, a peasant, for example, you're going to have a little more freedom because you know, you're just living your life and you're not thing. But yeah, check out both my games in the description. And uh, I am planning a third already. I am uh, getting ready to make a RPG. I learned the basics of game construction using Slime Evolution as a base. Figured out how to do some stuff and how to code it and whatnot. And I'll be using that knowledge and some of the assets that I purchased um, in Slime Evolution to make a game that I'm going to call I'm Just a Slime. And in I'm Just a Slime, you are going to play as, again, a slime. That's going to be a little bit of a theme here in the first couple of games that I make. We're going to be playing a slime who is part of a slime village. And one day a dragon appears in a nearby area. And that threatens the ecosystem of the whole forest and the monsters and everything around you. And so it's decided that you, the main character slime, are going to go on a journey to attempt to defeat the dragon. As odd as that sounds, a slime fighting a dragon. But through the course of the story, you might find different ways in order to defeat the dragon. I do plan on having a, at least two different routes you can take to defeat the dragon. And I'm actually planning for one of them to not only be completely different, but also add maybe double the length the game, depending upon the path you choose. So, look forward to that. If everything goes as planned, if I actually manage to do it, um, see how it goes. So yeah, that's all for today, everyone. Probably talk to you again when I eventually release I'm Just a Slime. But hey, that's all for now. Bye-bye!